What's going on, fam? It's the entertainer, the motivator, the educator, Lucky Murray, and I'm back with another CHH today. And guys, I want to talk about an artist real quick that I think that I know you guys have some questions, comments, concerns about this particular person. I do too. And I want to use this Friday, guys. I want to use this Friday to uh, highlight albums, songs, or just artists. And this Friday, I want to talk about what happened to Zanti. What happened to Zanti? If you don't know Zanti, Zanti just got a new single out, which is doing pretty okay. He also, also, also um, had two big singles last 2017. Yeah, last year. Uh, Lord, I'm thinking about 2019, but last year he had God Taught Me, which did very well. He had Joyful, which DJ Wado smashed on, on the radio show. He also had uh, Outwork You and Number 34 to end the year. So he was on the 2018 freshman list. He was on the freshman list of Rapzilla. If you haven't watched the video, please, the link will be up here somewhere. Just look at it. Um, just check out my video on the Rapzilla freshman list. And this year was kind of cold. It was kind of cold for Zanti. I, I think that he had a lot of features that he benefited from because he had the clout from, from God Taught Me. And also, I just think that a few things that I think that kind of kind of did not help Zanti in his favor when it came to really capitalizing on the success for God Taught Me. And I may even have just three points real quick. I'm not trying to bash the brother, but this is just my observations that I see from Zanti. I think the first reason is simply because I think Zanti doesn't really have any versatile styles when it comes to his music. It's just one way. You know, he's singing, the little singy, rappy type deal with the little auto-tune, and he has a unique voice, but at the same time, I think that when you just have uh, just one gear, when it comes to being an artist and you don't have really any any versatility to your catalog, it becomes kind of born and drawn out sometimes. So a lot of his records kind of sound the same, and he produces as well. So I don't see his work really being showcased you know his creativity when he makes music or makes beats uh i mean the beats dope the music dope but i don't think they kind of intertwine with each other i don't know if he doesn't have anybody in his corner to kind of challenge him to kind of broaden his style and his sound but all his beats and a lot of his songs kind of sound the same they kind of blend in together so if you do god taught me joy for outwork you they kind of like sound the same and they might have uh different tempos and also his features the people that get him on a feature they have him specifically I probably said that wrong. Word wrong. Excuse me, people. The sound similar to, you know, have a similar sound in all his features. So go back and listen to Zanti's features, and it's just my opinion. They sound exactly like as far as the type of songs that people want him on. The second reason is simply because I think that he could not. It's hard to capitalize when you have a viral hit, especially in the Christian hip hop like God Taught Me. It was a huge record and basically the first song that really blew up and took off of Zanti. So it was like, when that's your first one and you knock it out of the park, it's gonna be kind of hard for you to, to continue to knock them out of the park. So I think that there's one reason why he didn't really necessarily get to actually, you know, capitalize on it because God Taught Me was a big record. And also the third and last one that I think is simply because I, I say the same thing about Kid Trish. People, we don't really know Zanti as far as his walk with Christ. I think that br churches that bring you in, they want to know exactly, hey, who are you in Christ? And just because you talk about it on a record doesn't mean that we necessarily believe you as far as if you're going to come preach and, and minister to our youth. Because let's keep it funky, man. Even though you're an artist, even though you make music, we still want to hear your backstory when it comes to you following Christ. We still want to see you actually living out this Christian life. You know, it's cool that you have a great song. It's cool that you can make beats. It's cool that you're super artistic. But what are you doing to advance the kingdom of God? I think that people have not seen that. We've seen you do music, which is dope, but we have not seen you really talk about your faith in Christ. And I think if you're a younger artist, if you want to be in Christian hip hop, you need to talk about Christ. You know what I'm saying? That's the most important thing when it comes to this thing is talking about Christ. But I'm just a man. That's just my opinion. I need you all to comment below and let me know what you think. What happened to Zanti? You think he's still on? Let me know. If you think he's not, let me know. Please, the conversation needs to happen down here at the comment section. That's where it goes down, man. So, again, I'm just the messenger trying to let you know exactly what's going down. So, just let me know. Just let me know. So, also, I got a few things before I go. 
man, I just dropped a new podcast, man. Click on the link below, and I'm talking about the Rapzilla freshman list, and I got some songs that I want to play. Also, my new EP, Fearless, man, that's doing great, man. Check it out. And also, join the CHH Today Facebook fam. Look, man, if you want to go in on conversations, it happens on Facebook, man. So click on the link below. And also, man, I have a morning show, The Morning Vibes, man. Please, also, if you want to check me out from 7 to 9, you can just link, hit the link, radiount.com, man. Hit the link, man. And me and Miguel, man, we're going every single Monday through Friday, 7 to 9. So, again, it has been the entertainer, the motivator, the educator, Lucky Murray, and I'm back with another CHH Today and Zanti, man. I'm, I'm I'm feeling you. I'm feeling you, man. But I I need to see more. I need to see more. You're kind of ice cold right now. Till next time, people.